up everyone, hope you're having a good day. So today we're getting the day started off. Thomas is always running late as usual, getting ready in the mirror. But we're gonna go to the post office. Uh, I keep saying I'm going, but we're finally actually going this morning. So we'll see what you guys, uh, well a couple of you said you had sent something. So hoping the address was right and that it's actually there. Otherwise, I'm in big trouble. I might have to figure it out. I'm gonna take the bone. Gonna take the bone from you. Oh, stop that, Quincy. If I wanna take that bone from you, I have every right to take it. So, in my recent video that some of you might have seen that I posted to Facebook and Vine and Instagram, it's like Quincy being protective over a whiskey bottle. Well, people think, like, in the comments, I was reading some, I try to not read comments because a lot of it's just hate, but. A couple of them I do read to get the gist of what the people are saying and a couple of the comments were like you've taught him to be an aggressive dog blah 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 and I'm just like no I haven't like if I wanted to take this thing right here I could easily take it from him but also I can make it so he's gonna get a little snappy and playful with me it's just is the way in which I approach him so he thinks I'm like playing if I want to mess with him and go in slow he's gonna he's going to do it watch come on buddy can I have the bone come on Oh, you think I'm gonna play? But then, at the same time, if I wanted to take the bone, I would just do this. Hey, Quincy, I'm gonna take that bone. Thank you. It's as simple as that. Like, if I go in, like, stern and confident, like, I can take it, no, no problem, and he's not gonna get all playful and snappy. The only reason I act exaggerated and scream is obviously, it's like for entertainment purposes, but it's just him playing around. So, Quincy. Can I take a little bone from it? <laughs> yeah! You think you're gonna snap? That's what he does. He snaps and then I just play with him. But in the video, obviously, I scream and act like I'm afraid. So that's just a little for you people that watch the vlog and aren't just an average viewer that has never seen Quincy or know what he's like. That's what he's actually like. He's not, he's not a mean dog. You're not a mean dog, Quincy. You're just playful. Let me take it. Ow! Quincy, let me take it. <laughs> Come on, give me, give me it. I want it. Give it, give it to me. Give it to me. Thank you. He thinks he's burying a bone. He thinks that there's actually dirt there. Oh, you can hear me, can't you? Quincy, there's no dirt. There, that's a bed, Quincy. There's no actual dirt. You can't bury that. You can keep trying, but it's just, it's not gonna work, bud. All right, you keep trying, you keep burying that bone, but I promise you, it is not gonna move. Oh my goodness. I thought I raised a smarter puppy. Come on, you gotta take that in the outside. You can't do that inside, because he's shoving it in the corner doesn't mean you buried it. Come on now, you know better than this. He's getting frustrated now. He's like, why isn't this burying? Quincy, I'm proud. There's no dirt over there either. There's no dirt in this house. You're gonna have to take that outside and bury it. So this is a funny story with Thomas that happened a couple days ago. Thomas, who usually doesn't wake up at 5.30 a.m., randomly decides to wake up at 5.30 a.m. and take a train to Chicago, but he didn't want to tell my parents for some odd reason. And so he tells my mom I'm going for coffee and banking, which is the most vague term I've ever heard in my life, banking. And so he's gone all day and my parents, like his phone doesn't work for some reason. And so, but they can't get a hold of him. So they're worried. And Thomas, I actually knew he was in Chicago, but I didn't want to like rat him out. So I didn't like tell my parents. So they were just like worried all day and like kept texting me like, where's Thomas, where's Thomas, where's Thomas? And of course, Thomas thinks he's all smart and clever, but he parks in the train station and my parents have a suspicion, maybe he went to Chicago. I don't know why they had that suspicion, but apparently they're smarter than Thomas thought. And so they drive to the train station and they see Thomas's car in the parking lot. And then Thomas gets back and he's still trying to make up a story as to like where he was all day, which, <laughs> which was somehow he was gone from 5 a.m until 8 p.m. doing 
tea and Magic. banking. I left at seven. Yeah, but you were up at 5.30 getting in them ready. My mom was like so confused, like Thomas is never up this early. Why is he all ready to go by like 5.45 a.m.? I wasn't. I got but up. I know, but you were up super early, way earlier than you ever are. And you, you thought you were clever, Thomas, but your plan was foiled. And you didn't even need to lie. Like you could have literally just been like, hey, uh, mom and dad, I'm going to Chicago today. But for some reason you wanted, you just like decided to go there and try to be sneaky about it for literally no reason. <laughs> I don't get it. Oh, Thomas, the stories with you are, are just endless. Yes. Well, we have a couple. Alrighty. Oh, you want to open the mail when we get to home? Uh, I guess so. Well, hello there, little puppy. Hey! He's a happy guy. He's a happy puppy and I love him so much and I love my little Quee. He's got Mr. Monster and he's gonna run around in circles till he rolls on his belly and I pet him. Hey, Quincy, in your bed. Get in your bed. In your, no, belly rub. Belly rub? What you doing, you nut, you nut? There's the belly rub. Give me a monster. Come here. Come here. Here's the monster. Go in your bed. You crazy. And a big of me gonna be gonna buy and a beep 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 but a hick and a high and a hick and a hoo and a hick and beep 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 beep. Thomas. Mm. Cardinal shirt. Cardinals. I know how fond you are of the Cardinals. Yeah, it's almost like I have the same shirt, Thomas. Why are you showing me it? Well, that was in this package. You have the same shirt? Uh huh. Well, you have another one now, don't I you? know. I love the Cardinals. Thank you. Okay, so this second package, Thomas is in the kitchen, but I got a DM from. This is from Tasha. And it's a. Um, it's a fart machine. So. Basically, you can, it's like, a, yeah, it's a remote control and you can make it sound like someone's farting. So I'm gonna put it by Thomas. I'm gonna see how this works. I'm gonna figure this out real quick. All right, so I got the remote. I'm gonna go get Thomas. How are you doing today? Fine. Just. What'd you have to eat today? Um. That's disgusting. <laughs> that was the machine. No, that was you. Look, it was the machine. Thomas. So you know how earlier I was talking about how whenever like I get videos that kind of get really popular or viral, I start getting uh, like hate messages and stuff like that. No matter how innocent the video is, no matter how innocent a video is, there's always somebody who has a stick shoved too far up there. But, 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 um, here's an example of like comments that I get. I just want to show you. So. All your videos are you shrieking and your dog mimicking you. You kind of suck. And then, so, I'm reporting you. And then, she started talking about how she's going to report me to the law and not Facebook. And so, she thinks, like, she doesn't know anything about me. But she just, from one video of me just trying to take a whiskey bottle from, from my little bubba. That's right, Quincy? She thinks I'm abusing him. So now she's like, I'm calling Animal Patrol and they're gonna be at your door. And I know that's not gonna happen, but it's just like, it frustrates me. So, it, I try to, that's why I try not to read comments. That, this is the exact reason why, because I'll start reading, this was a message and it just frustrates me. And people think they know everything about me and they don't. I love Quincy, even though we're, he's sassy and he's playful. I love him, right bud? We love you. Everyone loves you. So, you know, I hope Animal Control shows up at my door and they do a wellness check and they see how amazing Quincy is. Right, Quincy? You want the Animal Patrol to come? Yeah. And then we can show them who's boss and show this girl that she's just a, a troll in the world of the internet. Sorry for that rant. I just, sometimes these things just get, get to me. So I have to, you know, vent a little bit. That's going to be all for today's vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And when I'm talking about those negative comments, I don't mean that towards you. That's just, you know, it's hard. Sometimes when you read a bunch of comments, no matter how many positive ones there are, you only 
focus in on those negative ones and I just need to try not to do that. I appreciate all your guys' support. Um, I do want to give a shout out to Gabriella. Thank you for staying active on my Twitter. I do appreciate that. And Thomas, any last words as usual? Like what? Anything, Thomas. It could be it could be technology advice. It could be fashion oh, advice. Okay, I like to, advice. I like you just fashion have advice. advice. Okay. okay, that's your go-to. Back up. Please okay. stop doing that. Um, fashions may come and go, but good style is everlasting. Ah, as we can see. Good night. Hey, yo, I once was a kid. All I had was a dream. More money, more problems. When I get it, I'm a pal. Now I'm dope. Wonder bread. We get so so fresh. How we flow every.